Where do the Georgia Bulldogs sit with some of their top flip targets in the 2025 class? That's what I'm going to talk about in today's video. There's a lot of recruiting news out there, a lot of recruiting noise going on, so I definitely wanted to jump on here and give you the latest and talk about where Georgia sits with some of their prospects or targets that are committed to other schools. Of course, you should be able to read this story over on Dog Post right now, so make sure you're checking that out. That's where all the real inside scoop is, but I definitely want to hop on YouTube and share my thoughts here as well. And the first guy I want to talk about is CJ Wiley. If you don't follow recruiting, if you're new to this channel, Matt DeBerry, dogpost.com, CJ Wiley, four-star wide receiver out of Milton High School. He shockingly committed to Florida State over Georgia and LSU this summer, he was back in Athens this weekend to watch Georgia take on Auburn. I still think Georgia's uh, sitting in a good spot to flip him. With everything going on in Tallahassee, it would not surprise me at all if he opened things up. And in fact, when he originally committed to Florida State, he basically said, yeah, I'm committed, but I'm still open to other schools. So it's hard to say he's been 100% committed the whole time. He's still committed to Florida State, but there are people around the program and people that I trust who still think there's a good chance that George is able to flip him. We'll see if they can get the job done, but he is a big, big deal. I think he's one of the best wide receivers in the country. So far this year, he's got 30 passes for 577 yards, six touchdowns. He's ranked as the number 13 wide receiver prospect in the country. I think he's better than that. Number 103 overall in the country. I also think he's better than that. He is a big deal. I think he's elite. I think this would be a massive, massive flip for Kirby and the dogs. They're trying, and I think he's open to them. So this is definitely a recruitment I would keep a close eye on over the next two months. Another guy that is committed to an SEC rival that Georgia did recruit and push for is Eric Winters. If you don't know who that is, he is a four-star safety out of Alabama who committed to Auburn over Georgia over the summer. He was in Athens this weekend, and I don't think he was wasting his time. I don't think he was there to watch Auburn. I think he was there to get another look at the dogs. He took an official visit uh, in June told me after that he loved it, and he told me, hey, it's really tough to say no to Kirby Smart. He makes that tough on you. We'll see if he gives him another no, but Eric Winters uh, is a defensive back that Georgia definitely has their eye on. They wanted him. They did not get him the first go around. We'll see if he opens up his recruitment. He is uh, 6'2", 195, can play offense, defense, special teams. He is a do-it-all athlete that Georgia likes him at safety. He's got plenty of size. He's the number seven safety prospect in the country, number 64 overall. So we're talking about a big-time defensive back prospect that Georgia is still pushing for. Currently committed to Auburn. We'll see if things change down the road, but he is another guy to keep an eye on. Really, really good player. As is Lagonza Hayward. I talked a lot about this kid over the summer. Small town kid, uh, Tombs County, Lions, Georgia. Another guy who can make a big impact in all three phases of the game. They like him at safety. That's where he's ranked, but he can play some wide receiver special teams. He can line up in multiple spots in the secondary, but he's an in-state guy that I thought Georgia was trending for for a little bit. He took an official visit to Georgia that first weekend of June. It was a big, big weekend. He was there and coming out of that visit, I thought, okay, you know, Georgia might have a real chance at this kid come from behind uh, Florida and Tennessee to get him. He uh, still committed to Tennessee uh, right before the football season started. Um, but he's 6'1", 205, muscular build, knows how to hit. He's got dependable ball skills, was outstanding last year everywhere he lined up. His stats are not updated right now on max preps, but I know he's catched a lot of passes. He's running the ball. He is playing everywhere for them. He was in Athens this past weekend. Another guy that I think might be giving Georgia maybe a second look here towards the end before they all have to make a final decision, right? Um, everyone can still flip if they want to, and I think Georgia's still pushing for this in-state four-star safety. They've got four defensive backs right now. Shamari Earls, I think, is an elite cornerback. They've got Todd Robinson, who could play safety, star cornerback. They've got Jonte Gilbert, who could play safety or cornerback. He's a kid out of uh, Atlanta, Douglas High School. Todd Robinson at Valdosta. And Jalen Morgan, who's a safety from Rockvale, Tennessee. So they've got four defensive backs on the commit list. And they've got room for at least, you know, probably at least one, maybe two more. So Eric Winters, a four-star safety from Alabama. Laganza Hayward, a four-star safety from South Georgia. Two guys to keep an eye on. Another guy, another Florida State commitment that I want to talk about from the state of Georgia. Big, powerful lineman 
I'm going to give my thoughts on him in just a second. But first, before I forget, because I will, collegebronze.com. That's where you can get the number one Georgia Bulldog statue on the market today. You're not going to find anything like this bad boy. I'm telling you. Made in Roswell, Georgia. Okay? Ain't made in China. This is made in Roswell, Georgia. Uh, if you support small businesses, obviously you support us. You support the dogs. Um, go get your Bulldog today. That would, that would really help everyone out. Uh, promo code DOGPOST, D-A-W-G-P-O-S-T. Uh, the description to order is in the de uh, the description below in this video is where you can order this. Put in promo code DOGPOST for a discount. That's This is the only place you can get a discount on the best looking Georgia Bulldog statue on the market. Make sure you're doing that. Um, Kevin Wynn is who I'm talking about. Out of Greene County. Uh, big, powerful, 6'3", 320-pound interior defensive lineman. Just lives in the backfield. I didn't think Georgia really made him a top priority. Obviously, Elijah Griffin is a guy who's going to be in town on campus for an official visit. He is a top target. Justice Terry is a top target. So those guys have their spots solidified. And right now, in my opinion, they only have one defensive line commitment. And J.J. Han, the kid from Germany that I've mentioned before on this channel, three-star, he's on the commit list. Stefan Shivers, I... I he said he's opened up his recruitment, but he's still listed as a commitment on uh, some of the other sites, I guess. I'm not considering him a commitment. I think he'll be on Vanderbilt's commitment uh, list fairly soon, but he's from Tennessee, three-star defensive lineman. I'm not considering him a commitment anymore. Uh, so there's like four spots available for defensive linemen. Uh, of course, the top two are the five stars, but Kevin Wynn is another guy who is from the state of Georgia, really impactful. So far this year, uh, he's made 39 tackles from the, the interior defensive nose guard spot, defensive tackle uh, spot. That's impressive. 12 tackles for a loss, five sacks. Uh, he just makes plays. And I think George is trying to kind of turn up the heat on him a little bit. Maybe they were on him earlier than I realized over the summer. He was in town for an official visit. Uh, I mean, nearby, Green County is not very far from Athens. So this is a four-star defensive lineman, a guy that could put on the interior, uh, who knows what he's doing. Um, and a, a guy I could see in this class if they push hard for him. Again, Florida State's a disaster. They're a dumpster fire right now. Well, I mean, who who is willingly wanting to go to Florida State this second? I don't get it. So if you're Kevin Wynn, if you're CJ Wiley, you're, you're having second thoughts right now. And when the in-state mighty Georgia Bulldogs are coming knocking on your door saying, hey, you know, we, we still want you. We're pushing for you. We want to get you on campus, and uh, we're going to try to flip you. Yeah, they're probably going to keep an ear open, right? Keep an eye on the dogs and see where things go. So he is a defensive lineman uh, in the state to keep an eye on. He's committed to Florida State. Other possible flip targets to know. Four-star defensive back Anquan Fagans uh, from Thompson High School, I believe, over in that kind of hoover Calera era uh, area. I used to live in Calera, by the way, as a real, real young pup, so I kind of know where this kid is playing at. Uh, but he's a big deal. Uh, he's got kind of family ties. I believe his brother played for Jafaris Robinson, Dante Williams, um, or is at least recruited by those guys. So the family already knows George's defensive staff. He's a really good player who is committed to Auburn, who, again, is no stranger to Athens. Georgia has recruited him. They did not land his commitment. But he is an out-of-state guy to keep an eye on. Staying in the state of Georgia, Anthony Krua. I hope I said that right. He is a three-star linebacker from Marietta. He is committed to North Carolina. He's been to Athens several times as I hit my um, knee on the table and the phone shakes. Uh, Anthony Crew is a tackling machine. Um, not super big. He's like 6'2", 215, 220. Uh, he plays all over the place for them. He's a guy to keep an eye on. Rashawn Dinkins, as I accidentally hit the camera again. Uh, Rashawn Dinkins out of Warner Robins. One of the more underrated defensive backs in the state of Georgia. I say underrated because he's committed to Georgia Tech. And he's probably better than that. I think this is an SE level kid, SEC level kid, if I can say it correctly. He's committed to Georgia Tech, but he Georgia Tech, but he's a playmaker from middle Georgia. Three-star defensive back. And again, Georgia wants to take probably two more. So he is an in-state guy to keep an eye on. Uh, Joseph Mbachu and Braxton Kyle are two defensive linemen in the state of Georgia to keep an eye on as well. Mbachu is committed to Florida. He plays at Grayson High School. Braxton Kyle is out of North Gwinnett. He's committed to Rutgers. I think those guys are probably like plan B, plan C, plan D. I don't know. Uh, Christian Ingram is also another target, but he's not committed anywhere. So we're talking about like flip guys. Uh, so those are two guys to keep an eye on. But uh, you know, we could definitely see some fireworks. There's no doubt about it. George is still pushing for a lot of big-time prospects committed 
uh, to other schools. But at the end of the day, if Georgia gets the guys they want, they are going to have a real shot at the number one class in the country. I definitely believe that, especially if they land Elijah Griffin, Justice Terry, uh, two five stars that you know we've been talking about seems for years now. They are elite, um, and I think Georgia sits in a favorable position for them and several other prospects who were committed elsewhere. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching the video. You can read more about this over on Dog Post. Make sure you're over on the website reading all uh, the great stuff that we have for you. Really appreciate it. Get your Bulldog today. Uh, promo code dog post at collegebronze.com. Again, you can order in the, uh, the link in the description below in this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the website.